Allez, salut à tous, on se retrouve aujourd'hui pour l'épisode 6 d'Elex. Alors la dernière fois on avait parlé à Ragnar, c'est que des gardes qui descendent ici. Et il nous avait un petit peu expliqué ce qu'on pouvait faire dans cette ville. Donc on va continuer d'explorer, peut-être de trouver des missions. Oh, je suis quand même curieux d'aller voir en bas, moi. J'aimerais bien trouver la fosse où il est censé se trouver toute la technologie qu'ils ont balancée. D'accord, j'ai réussi une quête que que j'avais pas a priori. Ça a l'air d'être la poubelle ici. J'imagine qu'il y a une quête quelque part, peut-être dans la maison. C'est un garde. Toi t'es une cultivatrice, d'accord je vois où on est. Morsure du serpent. Oh ça a l'air d'être une belle épée ça. Ouais, ici ça a l'air peut-être d'être un marchand. Because unless we get help, I don't know how we're going to keep feeding the people we've already got here. They are supposed to be able to conjure stuff up with their magic, but can they do that with supplies? Can they magic up the food we need? No, they can't. Air content. Magic up supplies. Mana, spells, magic it up, whatever you want to call it. Work here might be quite hard, physical labor, but it's supposed to be balanced out with magic. But where is the help that I need? But then, what does magic do for me when I'm hungry? In any case, I won't let myself be deceived. Even if our magic can protect us from what is out there, it is no replacement for a full stomach. What do you have to trade? You can take a look at our stock. The selection is more limited than I'd like, but it's what we have. Of course, if we weren't besieged by outlaws, albs, and we're still pen-pushing bureaucrats, I could offer you more. Eh, oui, on va parler un petit peu. Are things really that bad in Goliath? That depends who you ask. I'm sure there are some who don't notice how hard it is for everyone at the bottom of the pile. On va essayer de voir si on peut l'aider, peut-être. Tu as certainement autre chose à offrir que des éclats. Il faut du charisme. Attends, tu as un problème Oui. It sounds like you have a problem. Oh, I wish it was only one. But let's start with the Ison Clan, promising me regular deliveries from the Valley of the Damned, and then failing to get them for me. It's time Master Thorolds returned from his retreat to put this right. But like everyone else, it seems like he has plans greater than say making sure everyone gets fed. If we don't get that food, we'll be living on hope and fresh air. Then why should you care if our warlords don't? Tu as raison, pourquoi devrais-je m'en inquiéter? Oh, on va essayer de l'aider. Can I help? You? Well, not one to turn down that sort of offer. My only motive is to keep people fed. If I'm going to achieve that, I need someone to talk to Angrim. I need someone to persuade him how serious the situation is. These warriors seem to think that fighting is the only thing that matters. But let's see them try fighting when they've not eaten for a week. Can you tell Angrim that's how bad it is? That if we don't start getting boxes of supplies, then the only thing he'll have to eat is boxes. Ok, je pense qu'on peut lui parler. Where can I find this Master Thorold? The pilgrim has been gone for so long, I'm not sure anyone knows where he is. He announced that he needed to go into retreat for some higher purpose, and that was it. He left. All we know is that his leaving had something to do with Elix and Mana. But what exactly? I don't think anyone knows. Hmm. Ouais, on va voir. I will speak to him well, for you. Thank you. My hunters are doing their best, but we can't get by without those food supplies from the valley. It sounds like these supply problems are getting you down. 
no guards for escorting the supplies here or to distribute them afterwards. Outlaws and clerics stealing some of what we do send. Yes, it's not just you. I had my armor stolen by an outlaw. Outlaws. The one thing you can trust them to do is to steal things. And you know where they take the things they've stolen? Well, if they're true outlaws, there is only one place they'll take them. Straight to Tavar and a share of the profit. Interesting to know. Ouais, intéressant. Teach me something. Of course. Alors, elle pourrait m'apprendre des choses. Elle pourrait m'apprendre les points d'attribut. Intéressant. Les chasseurs expérimentés. Lire rapporte plus. Rapporte plus d'expérience pour les missions accomplies. Oh, elle peut vraiment m'apprendre des trucs sympas. Les marchands vous accorderont une remise. J'aime bien ça. Compétence en combat, en survie. Artisanat, personnalité, groupe. Oh, puissance d'attaque de mes compagnons. Réduit le coût des amendes à payer. C'est bien ça aussi. Ami des bêtes. Empêche les animaux faibles d'attaquer. Accorde un point d'attribut supplémentaire à chaque niveau. Oh. C'est intéressant. Sensible, ajoute un bonus. D'accord. Équilibré. Synthétique, ajoute un bonus. Parce que votre valeur de froideur est située entre 80 et 1000. Ok. Can we trade? Look around. Tell me what you need. Alors, est-ce qu'on peut acheter des trucs plus intéressants Une clé anglaise. T'as que ça comme arme et t'as que ça comme armure. Eh ben, on va aller loin. On va aller loin. Instruction de fabrication de l'anneau de pouvoir. Et recette de soupe à la viande. Ouais, J'ai envie d'acheter ça et ça. Pourquoi tu vends du papier hygiénique Est-ce que ça pourrait, je sais pas, est-ce que ça peut nous servir Ça, ça coûte 190, on n'a pas assez. On n'a clairement pas assez. Ben, on n'a plus de sous. Voilà. Je vais éviter de sortir mon inventaire ici. Il nous reste cette maison. C'était la taverne, non Non, c'est pas la taverne, ça. Bon, c'est juste une maison comme ça. C'était ça, la taverne. Oui, c'est ça, la taverne. Aïe. Du coup, eh bien, il nous reste le haut de la ville à aller explorer. On va essayer d'un peu tout explorer avant de partir. On a pris quelques quêtes. On n'a pas pris la quête de celui qui nous demandait d'aller chercher des... des trucs à Elex. On, prendra... On la prendra peut-être en redescendant. Je sais pas, ça peut peut-être être intéressant. Il y a aussi moyen, à mon avis, de, de la finir autrement. On peut peut-être le balancer pour ce qu'il fait. With all the wounded there are these days, we can hardly keep up. That's more of a reason. If we keep doing the same things, this war won't end. Nothing we can do will end this war. Someone has to do something. Doing the same thing again and again, it's insane. But what can be done that the warlords haven't done already? We can take a risk. Isn't it more important that we win this war rather than how we win it? Come with me. I need someone to watch my back when I go look for some supplies. And I know I can trust you. I can't leave. Stormson, Cauldron is counting on me. And there are so many wounded. You patch them up. I want to give people a chance to fight back. If I can pull this off, you will have fewer wounded to worry about. D'accord, intéressant. On peut peut-être lui parler, on peut peut-être l'aider lui. Why are people so blind? How can they stare at the same thing as you and yet see something so differently? You think everyone should think the same way? No, but if something is so obvious, why can't people see it? We're losing this war. Our enemies can see it, 
We can see it. So, why won't anyone do anything about it? It's not like there isn't a solution out there. A way we can win. But people stick to their old ways and new thinking be damned. Ah, je peux pas, pas de charisme. If you say so. There's no point saying unless you're prepared to do. If you stay here, incomer, you'll have to keep your views out there. I think Goliath's walls have narrowed the opinions of everyone who lives here. Ah, incomer. It would be good to talk later and hear your news. Ok, c'est dommage qu'on ait pas de charisme. Je pense qu'on ira voir. Euh, je pense que c'était le doc. Elle est quand même vachement grande cette ville. Bon, petit à petit, on arrive en haut, à mon avis. On n'a toujours pas amélioré notre équipement. Après, j'achète des recettes aussi. Peut-être que je vois pour acheter des trucs plus utiles. Il ah, n'y a rien ici. D'accord. Ah, c'est pas la peine de me surveiller, ça va. En direct, dès que je fais un pas, ça y est. Il faut peut-être que je prennent leur confiance avant de Hey, did you know there were some weapons brought back here to Goliath? Energy weapons taken Oops. from the clerics? I'd be interested in getting a look at them if you know how I could get a chance to do that. Et... fais attention, tu sais que je pourrais te faire exiler. Be careful. You know I could get you exiled for even asking about that. Yes, of course. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Listen, what I need is some help. Let's be straight. You recently tracked down a pair of cleric weapons, didn't you? Is that an accusation? This is a small town with lots of big mouths. There aren't really that many secrets. So, have you given those weapons over to the pit? Or do you still have them? I know some people who would be happy to pay for them. The berserkers don't want them. The clerics do. Encore quelqu'un qui essaie de de faire des trucs en douce. Ils ont pas l'air de suivre leurs lois. Are you some sort of traitor? Me? No, no, I'm no traitor. I just know some interested parties who would like to get hold of those weapons. I'm sure they would be grateful for your help. You'd be making some useful friends. Friends? You mean you're a cleric, or you know someone who is? That sort of accusation can get someone killed, so don't go shouting that at me. I'm no use to you dead. Besides, you can do with a friend, and the shards they bring. Je ne peux pas. I can't give you the weapons. You think it's wrong to forbid technology? Some say Elix fell from the sky as a curse. Others say it's a blessing. I think it's for each man to decide which. Will you give me those weapons? Of course, of course. I can offer you Alexit if you give them to me. That would only be fair. And should you wish to learn more about technology, I could point you to where answers can be found. No, je les garde. No, your Alexit isn't worth the risk. Then superstition wins over reason. A loss for us all. Go, hand them in. A shame. I thought you would be clearer thinking than the others here. Je le sens pas non plus. Après, pour l'instant, je me méfie d'un peu tout le monde, donc je préfère garder les objets. Tell me more about the clerics. You know about the comet that struck our planet? Well, back before the impact, Magellan had technology that could take you into space or to the bottom of the ocean. So. So the clerics want to see that golden age return. We don't want to abandon all the things our people achieved. The clerics think that, with Kalan's guidance, technology can sort out this mess of a planet. That it can mean safety and progress for all the free people. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you don't like about berserkers? 
Don't get me wrong, the people here can be fair, they help those around them, and there's the wonder that is berserker magic. And if you follow their laws, you will find acceptance here, all of which is a thousand times better than you can expect from the outlaws. The people of Tavar might as well be mutants, the way they turn on everyone and everything. What I don't understand is the hatred for clerics here. The wars of the past are long gone. The enmity should be buried. Certainly the clerics believe differently about technology, but that's no reason to hate them, is it? It sounds like you've learned a lot about the clerics. What about you? Are you going to pledge allegiance to the berserkers? Run off to the outlaw way of life? Or follow an interest in technology to the clerics? J'en sais rien. I'd like to know more about the clerics. Is that so? You want to learn of Kalan and the technology he offers those who follow him? I'm not sure that life in Ignadon would suit you. Technology is far from forbidden there. In fact, it's seen as Magalan's best hope. And your decision to give the plasma weapons to Yora, well, that makes me think you don't share that belief. No. You don't think technology should be forbidden? Look at the people here. They want to change the world, but they're doing it one handful of soil at a time. You're staying here although you don't like it. There's something wrong about you. Tell me the truth. Okay, okay, you seem to have figured it out. Well, it's safer here behind these walls than out there with the mutants. Particularly if you don't have an energy weapon. I was traveling in Idan with a comrade to scout for men and material. We found ourselves cornered by some mutants. I was the only one to survive the attack. I ran like there was no tomorrow and left my weapon behind. I'm glad they found me and brought me to Goliath. Besides, there are things to learn here. The more people I can convince while I am here, the better it is for everyone. Ouais, donc c'est clairement un clair. So, is there anywhere to trade here? That depends what you want to buy. Traders need to be authorized, and what they can sell is restricted. You'll need to look elsewhere if you want energy weapons. Or anything more advanced than a hand sharpened stick. And whatever you want to buy, you'll need to find the shards to pay. I could offer you some food as a gift. But... Well, since you disagreed with me about the cleric's weapons, I'd expect you'd refuse an offer of food, too. Wisdom guide you. Bon. On se l'est un peu mis à dos parce qu'on n'a pas voulu lui filer les armes. En même temps, on peut pas les filer à n'importe qui. On vient juste de le rencontrer. Qui me dit que c'est pas quelqu'un qui m'en qui m'enverra en prison à peine euh, à peine les armes données toi tu es qui un garde alors d'accord deux chemins s'offrent à moi là je peux continuer de monter ou je vais vers le vers ce qui a l'air d'être leur éclat de mana on va continuer de monter on va garder l'éclat pour la fin il est facile à repérer Il nous faudrait vraiment une armure si on compte sortir. Oh, un bâtiment un peu plus moderne. Oh, bah, c'est pas notre copain lui. Au final, on peut peut-être se garder ça pour la fin. Ici, il n'y a rien. Je peux prendre le marteau. Ça c'est un guérisseur, un cultivateur. A priori c'est des ces sortes de rangs sociaux chez eux. Des gardes de nuit. Vous voyez, bon d'accord, je ressors. Oh ça va, dès que je rentre dans une maison, ils veulent tous ma mort. 
cherche juste des gens, je veux rien voler. D'accord, Mike, je devais pas te parler, toi. Peut-être. Welcome, incomer. I hope you are being treated well. Goliath has always opened its doors to those who need shelter. But these are hard times, and war grows suspicions. As for me, I think the free people should work together in this war with the elves. Euh... Est-ce que j'aurai des problèmes ici Will I have trouble here It will mostly be talk. People gossip about incomers. If you want the people here to trust you, then help them. Once they do, they will open their doors to you. You will have a place to stay. A chance to become one of us. And they will likely reward you for your trouble. We berserkers believe in second chances. It's your choice whether you take that chance or not. Oui, qui es-tu Who are you I am Cormag, warlord of the Hammer Clan. Each of the clans has its own calling, and ours is magic. A gift given to us in our time of need. Proof that this planet needed a guardian, and that it chose us. We can channel power through our bodies, and battle the machines of the clerics. The power mana gives us seems limitless. And yet, it seems so normal now, doesn't it It's hard to remember that magic is only a generation old. We have only just started our study of it. And the Hammer Clan has made that study our purpose. What do you think about your laws? Our laws bind us. They tell us who we are. How we interpret them, that is where we can do better. Death and exile shouldn't be the only sentences. There should be reward in repentance. Leniency could save us valuable people. Intéressant son point de vue. You think other berserkers are too harsh? Dedicated, not harsh. And sometimes dedication can blind us to other ways of thinking. Just imagine if we berserkers could enhance the cleric's energy weapons or the outlaw's explosives with the power of mana, who could stop us then? Now Angram would say that giving into technology would destroy us. But I wonder whether holding on to the laws too tightly would do the same. After all, there were those who tried to stop using magic. They said it was against nature. Now magic is all that defends it. Whatever my thoughts, the laws we have now are the ones we must follow. Interesting. Are there problems between the clans? Give any group a name and they'll use it as a cause for argument with others. But while there are always differences, we are all berserkers. Anyone who forgets that needs a swift reminder of their true allegiance. You have traitors here? Not traitors. Troublemakers. People whose mouths move faster than their minds. You think we should use the law to silence anyone who thinks differently? I say they need to be convinced that our cause is best served if we work together. I've been saying that over and over, but it seems some people have stopped listening. Ouais, peut-être l'aider. Maybe they would listen to me. Perhaps. You could do me a favor and talk to Elder. He's been speaking out against the Ison clan. But I'm not sure of the reason behind his anger. You will find him living with the other cultivators down in the cultivator house. I'd be grateful if you can find out the reason he's upset before this bad feeling escalates into something else. Ouais, pourquoi pas. Teach me something. Sure. Alors lui il peut m'apprendre. Il peut m'apprendre principalement pour me battre. Il peut m'apprendre les grenades. Attaque au jetpack. Oh, intéressant. Tueur de mutants, d'accord. Alors ici, qu'est-ce qu'il y a donc là c'est le truc mana et il y a l'air il y a un autre quartier en bas. C'est immense. On peut peut-être parler à celui qui est là. Notre pote Duras. So, you decided to stick around. Well, I've been given a job by a warlord Ragnar that I think might suit you. If you want to stay around for longer. Hmm. Qu'est-ce qu'il pourrait nous proposer Tell me about the job. Well, the task I have on offer should profit you, and though it's not the best way to sell our community to you, 
It should demonstrate that we're open about things here. You see, there was a murder committed just outside Goliad a few months ago. A rather dedicated berserker named Ascor was killed. There's been an investigation, but no definitive answers as to why he was killed. So, Ragnar wants me to follow up and find the murderer. And what can I do? Well, I'm having trouble getting answers from people. Maybe an outsider will have more success getting them to open up. Would you talk to the suspects and see what they have to say? Ouais, on peut, on peut essayer de mener l'enquête, c'est intéressant. Tell me about the victim. His name was Ascor. He was a warrior, newly promoted from cultivator. Ragnar had high hopes for him, but Ascor wasn't popular. He went missing around Mana's Eve three months ago. No one knew where he'd gone, and it wasn't like he had many shards to up and disappear with. Then one of Ragnar's patrols found Ascor's body rotten up in the forest. It looks like he was stabbed several times with a sword. Whoever did it was strong enough to overcome him, but clumsy. They didn't find anything on Ascor to point to who might be the murderer. On va continuer de, de apprendre. And you think I can find the killer? You're a stranger here. That means you might see things I won't. What kind of logic is that? To be honest, I think this is a dead end job. But Ragnar, against all the evidence, seems to think it was a berserker that killed Ascor, and he wants answers. Me, I think it's a wild goose chase. None of Ragnar's questioning has thrown up any proof a berserker was involved in this, so chances are it was an alb, an outlaw, or a reaver. But if a warlord has an itch to scratch, then that means we have to go and scratch it. So let's cross all these suspects off the list and give them some closure. Is this why you brought me to Goliath? To do your dirty work? I brought you to Goliath to give you a chance. And this is a way to earn it by getting a warlord on your side. Ouais, on va continuer de l'interroger. Does Ragnar think a berserker murdered Ascor? Ascor was killed with a sword. And there aren't too many people who use swords outside of Idan. But if Ragnar's right, then there must be someone who was outside the walls at the time of the crime. So, Ragnar drew up a list of five suspects. No idea why these five exactly, but Ragnar will have his reasons. Do you think we make a good team, Duras? We're a team. I'm ready if you are. Bon, allez, je trouverai le meurtrier. I'll find the murderer. Ragnar wants answers. He seems determined to find out what happened. Myself, I don't know if we'll ever know what happened. But if we can eliminate these five suspects, he might let this go. And who knows? Maybe one of them did do it, and you'll get the proof. Ouais. Allez, on en apprend un petit peu plus. Will the suspects talk to me? Tell them you're investigating on Ragnar's orders. They'll answer your questions. Let me know if you need help. Remember, my sword belongs to you. Who are the suspects? A group of people who were out there in the forest at the time of the murder. First on the list is Baron. He's a guard. Well, he's supposed to be a guard. As far as I know, he doesn't have an alibi. But I think the only real reason he's on the list is because he knew Ascor when he was younger. Then there's Thorgal. He's in charge of a world heart in Abessa. I have no idea why Ragnar would put him on the list. Maybe just to be complete. Third is Garen. A hunter. He was reliable, but he seems to have lost heart in himself. There's something troubling him. Last are Eirdor and Rock. Rock, I can't get a handle on. There's something he's not happy about. Eirdor is still wet behind the ears. Bit of a whiner, but seems to care about his job. They were all outside Goliath at the time of the murder. Okay. What do you want me to ask them? Where they were three months ago around Mana's Eve when the crime was committed. What they thought of Ascor. I doubt you'll get a confession. I doubt any of them did it, but you'll get a sense of the men, and then you can report back to me so we can close the case. Where can I find them? They're all still out there. Track them down, then report back to me when you've discovered something. Okay. Eh ben, on a une petite enquête à faire, j'aime bien Duras, alors on va faire son boulot. Mais nous, du coup, c'est là-dessus qu'on va se laisser, je vous dis à la prochaine
Allez, salut à tous